Hey everyone, Dr. Manesh Gurin here, your personal psychedelic neuroscientist. Welcome back to the channel dedicated to exploring psychedelics, neuroscience, and mental health. Today, I'm addressing a powerful question that's getting more and more attention. Can psychedelics help heal brain injuries? This unexpected application recently got a lot of popularity due to groundbreaking research from Stanford University, which showed remarkable improvements in brain injured veterans using ibogaine which is a lesser known psychedelic compound with a long history of use in the Bwiti cultures of West Central Africa. This exciting study highlighted the enormous potential psychedelics have for treating brain injuries. And today we'll explore exactly how psychedelics might be able to induce such astonishing effects. Stay with me, some of this research might really surprise you. Before we get into it, let's quickly understand what exactly brain injuries are and why they're a big deal. Common brain injuries include concussions, traumatic brain injuries, aka TBIs, strokes, and something called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, which is a neurodegenerative condition increasingly recognized in athletes from high impact sports like football, boxing, or hockey. Brain injuries disrupt blood flow in the brain, cause chronic inflammation, and can kill neurons outright leading to symptoms like headaches, memory loss, difficulty concentrating, emotional instability, and even depression and anxiety disorders. Current treatments can help, but recovery is often very slow and limited, leaving room for exciting new therapies like psychedelics. And so here are four scientifically backed ways psychedelics might revolutionize brain injury recovery. First, psychedelics potently reduce inflammation. After an injury, your brain's immune response kicks into overdrive. And while inflammation initially helps healing, prolonged inflammation damages neurons and potentially worsens symptoms. This is where psychedelics come in. Studies reveal that psilocybin, ibogaine, DMT, and other psychedelics significantly reduce inflammatory molecules like tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin-6. By calming down this inflammatory response, psychedelics protect neurons from further damage and can potentially accelerate their healing. Next up is cellular energy. Your brain cells, especially after an injury, need lots of energy to repair themselves. And this is produced by the mitochondria in your cell, which is your favorite powerhouse of the cell. Excitingly, psychedelics boost mitochondria production, a process known as mitochondrial biogenesis, through their activation of the serotonin 2A receptor, which I've talked about in multiple videos. In addition to that, compounds like DMT and 5-MeO-DMT uniquely activate the Sigma-1 receptor, which is a receptor directly involved in mitochondrial efficiency in ATP production. This means psychedelics literally help your brain cells generate more energy, thereby aiding brain injury recovery and repair. Perhaps the most exciting effect of psychedelics on the brain is their ability to powerfully boost neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to reorganize and heal itself. This is something I've talked about in detail in a previous video. As I've detailed before, psychedelics can catalyze the growth and complexity of dendrites, which are the part of neurons that receive inputs from other neurons. And this growth of dendrites creates new connections called synapses, which can then allow neurons to communicate effectively again after being injured. And essentially enhanced neuroplasticity means your brain can more rapidly restore lost functions between neurons, thereby speeding up recovery outcomes. Finally, brain injuries don't just harm physical brain function, they of course often also trigger things like anxiety and depression and severely impact people's quality of life. And you probably already know this, but research shows that psychedelics can help reset entrenched negative thought patterns and allow individuals to process their emotions and memories differently. By rewiring our mood-related brain circuits, Psychedelic therapy can reduce rumination, increase emotional resilience, and restore psychological well-being. In short, psychedelics might profoundly alleviate the emotional burden associated with brain injuries. To recap, psychedelics can transform brain injury recovery by reducing inflammation, boosting energy production, supercharging neuroplasticity, and healing emotional trauma. Though more human clinical trials are needed, early findings are extremely promising. So if you found this video valuable, please give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and share it widely with anyone who might find it interesting. And so until next time, this is Dr. Maneshkar and your psychedelic neuroscientist signing off.